Hello guys and uh, welcome to the track guide for the Ningbo uh, track around China. This is a really difficult track to try and get right so I'll try my best uh, in this lap guide to guide you around and to show you the areas where you possibly might need to look at and how to drive them as best as you can. So let's jump in down the first pit straight and on we go to the lap. If you see the footage chop and change a little bit that's because shadow play mucked up. So this is two laps that I've tried to combine as one. Okay, turn one. Braking point is somewhat just after the bridge. And what you want to do, you want to bring your car to the outside. And while you're braking, your initial braking, start to turn the car and point it toward the apex for the best exit you can get. And you can take a bit of bite out of the first part of the apex. And you have to allow the car to drift out wide to maintain your speed. For turn two, this is coming up very quickly after turn one, so after you are out wide, don't cut in quite as much as I do, but if you're able to keep the car straighter, more to the right hand side of the track, you're able to get a cleaner line out of this corner. For turn three, what you'll see as well coming out of this corner, if you keep it more to the right hand side and don't drift out as much, it actually helps you maintain your time as you're minimizing the length of the track. Turn four, brake in basically at 80 meters, so between the 50 and the 100, use the boards as your reference. And when it comes to the inside of this corner, you have to be really careful with track limits, but you can still take a little bite out of it. I don't seem to do it too much on this lap, but if you take it slightly tighter, even in the fastest guy, you're able to get a nice run for turn five. Now it doesn't look like I'm doing it on this lap, but I am, it's just not showing on the inputs. You have to modulate the throttle so it's pulling the car around, but it's not spinning the wheels. So if you are able, you can see I get a nice pull around this corner, but if you keep your foot planted completely, you're actually just gonna get pulled out wide around this corner. Just be very smooth and gentle on the throttle. For turn seven, once again, break in between the 100 and the 50, but break further towards the 50. And for this corner, you will almost feel like you're breaking way too late for this corner. But because it is a double apex, you miss the first one and aim for the second one. And try and get the car, or the power down for the car, as early as you can down. Because what you can do, it almost feels like there's traction built into the front wheels and the car will just pull itself round with minimal wheel spin. And while you're turning, if you still apply a tiny bit of brake pressure as well, it helps rotate the car round the corner. So because of this fact, you're able to put the power down earlier, get the car straighter and able to carry more speed. This was one of the corners where I seemed to gain most of my speed after the laps I ran. Turn 8 is a really annoying corner because it's virtually a 90 degree corner, so about 85. Uh, what you have to do, you do have to clip the inside, but you have to let the car run out wide and almost just close your eyes coming out of the exit. Braking points around the 50 board as well. If you can grab the orange and red curbing on the outside, it will give you a better exit line out of this corner as well. So that could help your time around the lap. Turn 9 and 10 now, they're a very tricky couple of corners because if you change to 5th and ride the bumps, it can easily unsettle the car and almost send you into a spin. And if you don't spin, you'll end up be locking your tyres into turn 11. So I think for ease of the car, keep it in 4th currently while you're do building up speed and take the inside curb and barely touch the right hand turn of turn 11 and this will really help you uh, build up confidence of running these corners eventually you can change up to fifth if you feel confident enough but i wouldn't recommend it lap after lap after turn 10 you can see that i let off the power and then when you get to the right hand side yellow and red curbing that's where you want to start breaking into the corner once again, another corner that's a double apex, so try and aim for the second one and then put the power down and let the car go out wide. You can be pretty liberal on the throttle as well, so as early as you can as the wheels don't seem to spin. 
Turns 12 and 13, you can take massive bites out the curb. So cut 12 and cut a little bit of 13 and then allow the car to basically run to the outside curb of 13. You do not have to pull it mega tight for 14 either, as you can see on the ghost of the guy that is currently first. But I like taking a tight line and then allowing the car to drift out. It is very difficult in 15 to try and get the car to pull back as quickly as you want to the right hand side as well. So try and let the car drift and then as soon as you're out of the corner start pulling it to the right. For turn 15 I come into the inside too early but if you can allow the car to be slightly wider than I am you'll get a better line through this corner and you can almost allow the car to run out to the exit of 15 and then cut 16. Keep this whole last complex of corners in third as well because it seemed to help keep the car relatively settled. I'd say possibly on the last corner if you feel like the car's dropped too many revs drop it down to second build them back up and then switch back to third. Okay last corner cut it and make sure your left hand tyres are on the big sausage area of the curb. This will lift the car up and it let the car drift out wide but you'll be carrying the best speed you can and then that's it that's the lap completed across the line well i hope this has helped you with your lap time on the leaderboards uh, if you could like and subscribe that would be fantastic guys if you found this helpful via this if you watched this for this competition or for a lap or competition or for a league race you're doing soon uh, this is billy goat boy signing out See you guys on the track.